Our devotional thought today from the Old Testament again comes from Leviticus. And it might seem repetitious, but sometimes the Bible repeats itself to drive home a point. Offerings without yeast is our theme today. Offerings without yeast. Leviticus chapter 8, beginning with verse 1. Then the Lord said to Moses, Bring Aaron and his sons along with their sacred garments and anointing oil, the bull for the sin offering, two rams, and a basket of bread made without yeast. Now, have you noticed how many times as we've read through the book of Leviticus, God repetitively says, no yeast is allowed in the offering? Because yeast is symbolic of sin. Yeast makes things look bigger than they are like the offering of Ananias and Sapphira, claiming to have a generosity that, that was not there. Now, when we bring an offering to God, we are to bring an offering to God in sincerity and in truth, not with yeast. It cannot contain an element of sin. Now, I don't get asked this question too often anymore, but in the, in the early days, back in the 80s, people would ask me a question like, Pastor Sumrall, you know, I'm making a profit, and what they were doing was something that was sinful. And I can remember one lady who owned a, forgive me, a prostitution place. And, you know, she her children got saved, and she came to church and said, Pastor Summerall, I want to tithe. And I said, I don't think you should be tithing. She got very upset with me. Are you turning down my money? I said, yes, ma'am, I am. Because an offering is to be made without yeast, without sin. So when, when people come to me and they, they want to tithe on corruption or stealing or prostitution or drugs or whatever, I tell them, no, an offering is to be given without yeast. It should not have any sin tied to it. So, beloved, please understand, again, the principle, an offering that we bring to the Lord is something we bring to honor God. It's something we bring as an act of worship. We don't bring offerings to God that flow from sin and corruption. How does that honor God? And how does that worship God? Offerings are to be without yeast.